Happy Friday, friends. Welcome back to Virtual Happy Hour. I'm delighted to tell you that I haven't had any cocktail fails yet today, but just to play it safe, we're making a stirred drink as opposed to a shaken drink. It took a while to get that egg white out of my hair yesterday, but I'm back and I have a proposition for you. Because we're working from home, most of us, and don't have many reasons to even put pants on, I'm gonna suggest that we introduce formal Fridays because every other day of the week is casual. So as you can see, I'm celebrating formal Friday in this new dress that I got on sale because they're just giving clothes away now. I thought, you know what? We're nose diving into an economic recession and I work in sales. <sighs> what a better time to spend all my money on new clothes. So to wash away the, uh, the bitter taste of my credit card bill this month, I am going to be making us a, a delightful classic cocktail and I'm only prepared to give you one guess as to what we're making with the following ingredients. London Dry Gin, Campari, Sweet Vermouth, and an orange peel for garnish. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? I really hope so, otherwise we're gonna set you back a week in the cocktail curriculum. We are making the classic Negroni today. I am very excited to be making this often at Fridays at my lovely place of work. We celebrate uh, the end of the week with a little Negroni. So in the interest of feeling like I'm right at home in the office, we are going to be making a Negroni today. This is a very simple cocktail. It is equal parts of all three ingredients. So we are gonna get started just an ounce of each. I'm just gonna pour these in here. I've noticed that my blog traffic, because I don't just have an Instagram account, I have a, an actual website where you can go and discover my original cocktail recipes and also food and also some Ottawa content if you're based in Ottawa. And one of my top performing posts up until recently was the best happy hours in Ottawa. Uh, so I was wondering why my blog traffic was suffering and it's because <laughs> We can't go to restaurants these days. I will say though, on that list, one of my favorite places in town to get a Negroni is North and Navy, and I would encourage you to pay them a visit um, when we're out of this crisis, and you can, and join their, their Sanka set in the bar area and get a very affordably priced Negroni. I will say, um, North and Navy is actually one of several restaurants in Ottawa that is still offering takeout. So I would encourage you to visit their website um, or I'm going to link an account that is paired re responsible choice with local restaurants so you can get delivery uh, to your home from a number of Ottawa restaurants. So please go throw them a follow. Uh, and if you feel comfortable supporting local restaurants, please do. So that was one ounce of each London Dry Gin, Campari and Sweet Vermouth. I am now gonna add ice to our mixing glass here. This is not the most efficient way to do it, but nevertheless. Okay, I'll just push this aside so that I can give this a good stir. So the goal when you're actually mixing, and I should have chilled my mixing glass first, actually that's a hot tip because glass is actually a pretty good uh, insulator, but it works better when the glass and its contents are the same temperature and helps you get that nice silky texture that you're looking for. And so the goal when you're stirring is to keep the bar spoon at the perimeter and run it just along the circumference of the glass as you're stirring because you're not trying to introduce any air into the cocktail because you don't want there to be texture. So I would not say that I'm an expert stirrer, but it's something that I'm working on. There's a spe specific technique to it that I certainly have yet to master, but something I'd be happy to talk you through once I get better at it. So that's good. And I'm actually gonna put a large ice cube in here. Definitely recommend an ice, large ice cube like this for a spirited cocktail like the Negroni because it works so well this is a julep strainer. Um, it works so well at preventing the drink from getting too watery and you don't want the dilution to happen too quickly because we've already spent this time stirring the cocktail. And so we're gonna pour it in, a little spillage there. 
And then we're just gonna add our garnish. today. Less of a mess than yesterday though. I had to wash my floor. So I'm taking my Y peeler and running it around the full circumference of this. What I have here is a mandarin orange, but you use whatever orange you have on hand. If you don't have an orange, um, you know, you could use a grapefruit, a blood orange, a lemon even. Just like you want to get that kind of citrusy component to balance the, the bittersweet profile. I'm just cleaning this up a little bit, but it doesn't need to be too perfect. We're just gonna do a swath today, not a twist. So again, I'm gonna take the citrus peel between my thumb and index finger, and I'm just gonna give it a nice spritz and express the citrus oils and then run it around the lip of the glass and drop it in. So cheers to virtual happy hour and formal Fridays. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will be back tomorrow and I'll give you a hint as to what we're making. It's a pina colada. So get out the frozen pineapple. Hopefully you've got some coconut milk at home and some rum and we're gonna put it to good work. Cheers guys. Oh, that is divine. So good. Have a good one.